It is also important to note that for Eaton ES brakes, a light film of grease should be applied to the roller recess of the shoe webs at each reline or any time the shoe assembly is installed. However, do not lubricate anchor pin recesses. Okay, now back to our reline job of standard Eaton brakes. Use a suitable riveting mandrel to push out the old rivets. Do not drill out old rivets or cut off the upset heads with a chisel because you might enlarge or elongate the rivet holes. Clean the shoe table with a wire brush and paint the shoes with a rust inhibitive coating. Be sure you are using the proper lining block material as a replacement. Insert one quarter inch diameter, one half inch long rivets into all holes and hold them in place with masking tape. Begin riveting at the center of each lining segment and progress uniformly toward each end. Check the installation by trying to insert a six thousandth inch feeler gauge between the lining and shoe table along the edges. It should not be possible to insert the feeler gauge in this manner anywhere along the edge with the exception of the outside ends beyond the last row of rivets. Complete assembly instructions appear on the service manuals, so we won't repeat them here. But since we interrupted our reline story to pull the camshaft, we should mention a few things to watch for when you put it back in. Be sure the camshaft being installed, either new or used, is correct for the application. Note how the ES brake cam differs from the standard brake cam. Also, watch that you correctly replace the cam head washer during ES brake reassembly. Also, note how the slacks will rotate with pushrod extension. And check whether the roller would start to ride up on the convex slope of the cam head. The cam he has in his hand is the wrong one for this brake. Apply a thin film of grease on the inside of the camshaft bushings and seals and on the spline area of the camshaft. Do not grease the camshaft head area. Carefully slip the camshaft into the bracket. Install the thick washer and slack adjuster, and then the thin washer and snap ring. Be sure to check camshaft axial play every time the camshaft is installed. Mount a suitable dial indicator with the plunger referencing the cam head at 90 degrees to the cam face. Pull inboard on the slack adjuster end of the camshaft to take up any end play and zero the dial indicator. Push the camshaft outboard and note the maximum reading. Add or subtract washers to adjust axial play to between five thousandths and forty-five thousandths of an inch with the slack adjuster centered between the bracket end and snap ring groove. To finish up our reline, let's mount the brake shoes. Please note that Eaton Extended Service Brakes components should not be mounted in standard brake assemblies. Please refer to Eaton Technical Service Bulletin number 88-104 for interchangeability of standard Eaton brake products to Eaton ES brakes. Place the correct upper shoe in position and hook a new return spring to it. As you replace the springs, pay particular attention to the color coding for proper replacement. Remember, red springs indicate high mount, black for low mount, and brown springs for ES brake shoes. Attach new retainer springs to the shoe, hooks pointing out. Hook the lower shoe to the retainer spring. Rotate the lower shoe upward and hook the return spring to it. Use the snap-on tool or a large screwdriver to stretch the return spring to allow insertion of a new cam roller and pin on the upper shoe web. Repeat the process on the lower shoe. Complete final assembly following the instructions in the service manual, adjust the brakes, and you're done with your reline. Of course, you must do a performance check before releasing the vehicle for service. There are other brake service issues we have not covered today, but those discussions are best left to our service manuals. You've always known how important brake maintenance is. Now you have seen how easy it is when you use Eaton Technical Service Manuals. Remember, always use the proper tools for the job and take the time to do a thorough, safe repair. Safety, like brake operation, is something that can never be taken for granted. Thank you for your attention.